Hello and welcome to Tony Wright's Crypto. Today we are looking at what is going on with Bitcoin. My two pennies worth where I think we're going to be going from here. Um, uh, should we be moving over to Tether? Should we be shorting it? Should we be selling it? Should we be What should we be doing? Because I've had phone calls, text messages and emails uh, from people asking me what it is that they should be doing. So this is my two pennies worth. It's not financial advice but it's certainly advice that I will be taking on board myself with the Bitcoin and uh, crypto that I own myself. So with that, I'm going to roll out the intro, get straight onto the content, and then with that information, you can then make up your own mind as well. All right, so here it is. Okay, so um, I'm in my snuggies at the minute, just chill back in my in my hoodie and just, uh, yeah, just trying to make myself feel a little bit better from everything that's going on. What a crazy day it's been today and yesterday and, well, basically, all the price range going back all the way since where we started this, um, sort of almost like a reversal from a, a massive uh, um, a bull run, which was great, but would you know would you would you agree with me that the bull run perhaps ended on the 10th of may thereabouts perhaps hi here i am i'm big big screen big screen big me big me ha ha okay so um what should you be doing it's a it's a time of uh fud isn't it it's fear uncertainty and doubt and uh you know, with a snowball effect, uh, you've got uh, bearish news, you've got bearish patterns, as you've got all the alts that are bleeding like crazy, but when there's blood in the streets, um, you know, that's that's when you got to buy, that's when you got to look to be looking at investing, it's not when it, it goes up that you start turning around and saying, oh no, I'm going to miss out, and then FOMO kicks in, and then you end up, uh, if you know, if you're in that rut where you're selling at the at the at the bottom and then buying at the top. Well, we're certainly definitely in a in a towards the bottom end at the minute, aren't we? Uh, where were we from the top to where we are today? You know, sixty percent down. So, fifty five, sixty it says fifty five and a half, whatever. So yeah, we're certainly down towards the bottom end. Um, so is now a good time to sell? Well, ask yourself the question. You know, you don't need me to answer the answer the question for you. Is that um, if you know that buying at the bottom. Um, buying at the top and selling at the bottom is a bad thing to do then why are you allowing emotions to cloud your judgment and asking yourself now should i really be selling right now yeah but tony what happens if the market continues to go down well that's when dollar cost averaging comes in and you continue to buy not financial advice but it's what i'm going to be doing so as the as the price of these assets go down uh bitcoin's down what today uh, against the dollar three right now as we're speaking right now as a time of recording 3.7 percent um what's uh what's some other mass massive ones uh we've got um uh, poly polygon um seven uh, percent uh well we've got we've got link litecoin's down eight percent um a lot of them are down massive percent x r p down against the dollar ten percent drop again today um ramp down hitting its hitting its bottoms they're all bleeding so for you to come out of out now um after having such an emotional time getting here um it's just one of it's just what they're trying to do it's, it's the wyckoff um playing out to a t it's shaking out the the weak hands the ones that don't have uh experience to hold and you know money goes to the patient um money goes to the ones that uh that say you know what i'm not going to let it phase me so if you're an accum accumulator, if you're a hodler, then don't allow these times to worry you. If anything, buy more uh, as as the price goes down of the assets that you feel confident that they're going to go back up in. Um, uh, so Elon Musk bought in. Um, a lot of traders were looking at, and and you saw the you saw the the, the uh, manipulation. Well, not it wasn't manipulation. He was he was buying it. You saw that was the that was the day that Elon Musk bought, so it was around about this these sorts of uh, prices and below. And now we're looking at um, uh, Michael Saylor. I vaguely remember reading that he's got more Bitcoin than Coinbase themselves have got now. So, and he's just bought a load. So, if you're asking what the most wealthiest Bitcoin owner in all of uh, Bitcoin land and world is doing today. Um, if he was your financial advisor, would you not buy? 
Would you not buy Bitcoin right now if that's what Michael Saylor is doing? Let's let that sink in for a minute. So the world's leading Bitcoin investor is now buying Bitcoin today. And you guys are wondering whether you should be selling Bitcoin today. Yet you're trying to get out of that buy high sell low mentality. So um, I wouldn't normally uh, recommend another channel, but you you all have all have heard of MM Crypto. He released a video this uh, this morning or this afternoon, not too long ago, and he was speaking about the Wyckoff um, Spring, um, and uh, yeah, I I I listened to him. I've drawn it using the tools, and I agree with him that it it's Wyckoff playing out nicely. I am not looking at my balance I don't want to look at my balance because I will get emotionally attached I know what I'm like um, so we all find coping mechanisms and over the years that I've been trading I find that that's my coping mechanism is if things get choppy uh, my brain is saying no you need to um, not sell you need to huddle you need to just be patient then my, my head tells me don't look at your portfolio don't look at your portfolio because as soon as you start looking at your portfolio you see your price going down stop looking at the charts just switch it all off and just ignore it and it'll go back up now as long as you've taken the advice that i've said all along since starting my youtube channel a couple of weeks ago that never put in a for never put in more than you can afford to lose then um then you should be in in the good now another person uh message me saying Tony I'm thinking about getting into debt and getting a loan and buying one bitcoin because I could buy a bitcoin now at 20,000 um, pound uh, well he could at the time when he called me I said well how long are you thinking about taking the loan for he said about 5 or 6 years and I said well no financial advisor would tell you to get into debt to buy an asset but this friend of mine knows uh, and has been on the bandwagon with me since Bitcoin, since I invested in Bitcoin, so is he. And he's that confident that Bitcoin's going up and taking an next leg up. But a five-year investment, buying in at £20,000 uh, um, GBP or in dollars, it's going to be uh, $30,000. He's that confident that he's he's saying to me, but Tony, I know, I know that in five years' time, when the loan matures, I'm only going to be repaying back 3% because that's what the loan rate was that he was looking at getting. And I know that Bitcoin is going to be well above 3% where it is now in five years' time after the next halving and the next spring, even if this bull cycle is over. So unless you can think of a reason why Bitcoin won't, be in the hundreds of thousands in five years time then is it not a shrewd move to get a personal loan and do that and my answer was yes I agree I think that's a fantastic idea I think if you can get the loan fast enough into your bank that you can go out buy yourself the bitcoin but know this and this is where this is where the um condition was is that if bitcoin ends up going down to a thousand dollars or five hundred dollars or it ends up getting wiped out somehow by some miraculous can you afford to pay that 20 grand loan back with ease with confidence with without any issues is it going to be something that you can do and he said yeah i can got no no issues with with doing that i said so why are you asking me he said, I just wanted to know if you could see Bitcoin kind of, I just wanted to make sure and get a, you know, make sure that you're on side with that. I said, bro, I've got your back. <laughs> I've got your back. Fill your boots. You know, do what you got to do. Fill your boots. So, um, yeah, so that's what he's going to do. Not on my recommendation, on his suggestion. That's what he said to me. That's his proposal. He said, do I think that's a bad idea? I said I would never tell anybody, but you're you're my mate. 
<laughs> and if you can if you want to do it then you go ahead and do it but i find it very interesting that one one friend is telling me i want to get a personal loan and buy bitcoin because i can see that this is a shrewd move and the other guy he's ringing me up saying at what price should i be selling bitcoin at you know because i don't want it to keep going down and it end up going to less than i bought in at so you see the mentality of the two different people um i can i can see that the mentality of the person that bought in where he bought in i can see him wanting to make sure that if he takes out now he's still made you know double his money or most or maybe more more right now um and he doesn't want to lose any more than that you know he's, he's doubled it he's quids in he's good to go i could see the other guy turning around and saying okay yeah but i could make double my money now at this point so we've got two opposing ideas yet both of them for reasons that for them personally they fit their circumstances so when i said to you at the beginning what is it that you should be doing um i i said that i would answer that is this is something that you need to ask answer yourself nobody can advise you whether you should be um a borrowing money to buy bitcoin on the hope that and it is a hope it's not a short thing that it's going to be above where it is now so there is a warning attached to that uh, the response to that warning is yeah but even if it doesn't it's not going to financially impact me enough for for it to worry me and the other guy turned around and said you know i'm thinking about selling selling and coming out now um well that's that's good for him because if he's going to sell now then he's doubled his money and he's quids in um i also put on the table well why don't you take out your initial your initial investment and uh and then leave whatever else is in there so that way you know what you've put in is is you've got back out and now everything that you've got in there now is free um and he said yeah yeah that's a good idea that's a good idea that's a good idea all right that's one of the that's that's one of the things with me regard myself i also told you what i'm doing and that is i'm not looking at my portfolio i know i'm in alts mostly on my uh on my um trades uh with regards to spot trading it's just a load of money spread you know a few percent in each alt i've got my my bitcoin on my ledger i'm not short in bitcoin i don't trust i don't trust it at the moment i don't feel that we've got enough confluence in signals to suggest that we're definitely going anywhere uh, i want everybody to consider that mm crypto's um wyckoff video um and saying that yeah that's very possible uh my video yesterday when i mentioned about um the this line here being like a line in the sand here at thirty thousand dollars just under I said if we closed below that then I just feel that we're going down now I've got the CME gap $23,685 the CME gap is uh, is it's respected it's always been respected and there was a big gap there and it still hasn't been filled so there's a lot of people's orders and if you look at the VPVR now you see there are massive uh, uh, massive control there um, just on that uh, CME gap so I said that I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not saying I think it's going to happen, but I wouldn't be surprised if we end up coming down and in one day, just for a few hours, just going down and wicking into that gap and then coming straight back up and out again. I'm just going to shrink myself down a little bit because um, you know I'm looking at my own face and a little bit so that I'm off the charts to roughly about there. Um, yeah. So already today we've gone down and we're up six and six point seven percent so when my friend rang me up and said you know do, we, do you think i should sell out now i said well until we get close of candle today and find out if we're below that three thousand you know two thousand nine hundred and ninety eight dollars um it could just be a wick out just to shake out the weekends it could be michael saylor himself just you know just keep pushing it down just a bit at a time giving us a bit of a chop ready for him to buy back in um you don't know what his orders are you know what he tweets and things but what he actual what his actual buy orders set at and all the rest of it we don't know he could have set it at thirty thousand dollars and just left it there uh, fear of missing out fear of uncertainty doubt we sell and every time it hits 30 his orders just kick in and keep buying more at 30 
so he averages his out at thirty thousand dollars so rather than doing one big market order and buying it all up he's just got a just got a constant um stop limit order at thirty thousand dollars um wouldn't surprise me at all um yeah i see that technical analysis with regards to indicators uh delays the death cross um you know is happening as we speak the next couple of days it's going to follow through even if we go up now all the way up to i don't know forty fifty thousand dollars um because this is a lagging indicator and takes you know the last 200 days and the last 50 days into account the uh, the fact is that drop there that we that we see from here to here that drop is only just starting to show on the 200 um, day moving average so it's lagging it, it's already happened so the death cross has already happened and if you go back in history and you look at the death crosses um here you got the death cross happened just um just here uh on the 15th of march 2020 but the actual death cross really the actual price of bitcoin fell due to the covid dump on the 7th of march so from the 7th of march all the way to when the actual cross did happen which was the 14th of march it took a week for the um for the death cross to actually catch up with itself and by that point we'd already done the bounce and we'd already started heading back up so when we go to where we are now yeah we can see that the bounce the bottom could very well have already been in by the time the um uh just undo that one actually let's go back yeah we can see that by the time that um i'm just going to lock that in place actually so that doesn't happen again hang on a sec by the time that that uh cross happens well hopefully the bottom will have already been in and the bottom close would have been this candle here so maybe in seven days when it, it's it's absolutely crossed over we can look back and say well we're on our way back up now for the spring in the wyckoff lots of things to consider um there are no answers uh, there are no answers because everybody's circumstances are different to the guy who doesn't the, to the guy who doesn't have the means to pay back any money to borrow against money to invested to bitcoin who doesn't believe in bitcoin i would say absolutely red um red flag to a bull do not do not ever get into debt ever to buy um to buy a stock share asset of any class if you're not a hundred percent confident in the asset class a hundred percent confident that it, that the uh that the loan that you're going to get isn't going to um that is, is going to put you in any kind of um um stress excuse me stressful situation or tense uh tense situ um and i also wouldn't ever advise anybody to sell their bitcoin who's a who's a bitcoin believer um when when institutional money and uh, uh, are taking advantage of market manipulation uh, taking advantage of people that uh, are shaking out the weekends and that's what's happening right now so um yeah you've all all of you have got to make up your own mind as the oracle said in the matrix i expect you to do what you've always done neil to make up your own goddamn mind was it neo she said that to or was it to um i think it was Nobi. she said that oh, i can't remember but yeah Everybody needs to make up their own choice about what it is that they're going to do, but it needs to be a choice that they can live with. If you're already in it, deeper than you can afford to lose, then you need to make that decision, and it's not something that anybody else should influence you on. Is Bitcoin going to go down further from here? Um, I see that CME gap getting filled. I can see it happening. I can't say that it's certainly going to happen, but it did have a gap at 23685 23685 and there it is so on friday it closed there and um the monday came and it opened there so there was this big gap and it's never come down and filled it yep i can see the price filling the gap soaking up the orders and then bouncing off really really quickly uh, is it going to definitely happen? I can't say for sure. Uh, I would be very upset to think that you guys would have lost out on 22% if you're going to tether now or 
USDC or something and um, we end up making a tearing move up the way excuse me guys you can't squeeze blood out of a stone and if there's nothing to give there's nothing to give fundamentals are, are playing more of a role here than the charts can predict uh, so and and I'm not privy to the fundamentals of what the whales um, and the bears are planning so that is the best that I can give you today on today's video it's been 23 minutes long um, I'm going to try and uh, go through it now and edit the video and see if I can uh, get rid of some of the blog and China's a big issue um, China's turned around and stopped the uh, or turn around and they're investigating um, the mining situation which is something that's worth bringing up now is that um, the hash is that the mining is mostly now the biggest mining place of now they've all started to get shut down in China they're all heading over to America um, but the hash ribbons okay bum get rid of him now bum bring up the hash ribbon hash ribbons um, there you go so you got your miners capitulation uh, coming in here and then after after you got like the broadening of it it then tightens up and then you get the buy signal it tightens up you get the cross you get the buy signal it's starting to flicker around a little bit it's tightening up it's, it's um, you're getting the bulge like a Bollinger Band we have a tightening it up and we might get another buy signal um, over here um, as as the Bitcoin miners all close down Bitcoin needs needs miners so it needs to um, needs to give out better rewards so that the miners can afford to continue to mine otherwise Bitcoin's over so that's why there is that um, the algorithm there and uh, the chart for us to see um, yeah so I'm just saying it's something to, to, to notice as we see China shutting down uh, we're getting a capitulation of the mining that's something else to consider uh, which is a bullish thing this is bullish uh, this price coming down to fill the CME is bullish Michael Saylor's is bullish um, price actions bearish um, alright guys I'm sorry I can't give you anything better than that uh, what am I doing? I am not doing anything. I, I think it's a no trade zone for me for nothing for now. I'm not. I'm not going to trade this this um, weird looking M pattern that might be playing out. That might head up to make a form a shoulder and give us a head and shoulders. All these kind of uh, patterns. Um, bear flag. I'm not trading any of them. I'm just waiting for the market to find its feet and for the uh, big wigs to do whatever it is that they're going to do. I'm in crypto for the long haul. I'm in crypto for the next 10, 15 years um, before I take my profits to pay uh, mortgages off and all the rest of the uh, um, goals that I've got in my life, which I have written down on a whiteboard, come out now and then end up taking off whilst I've ridden it all the way down here. I'm not selling. I'm not selling anything that I own um, down at these prices. So that's what I'm doing. No, no, this is financial advice. I'm off now. Um, if you listen to the end, uh, well done. <laughs> I'm not sure I could listen to me rabbit on about all this sort of stuff, but uh, I think I've covered most of the stuff that's in the headlines. There you go. That's what I was looking for. So MicroStrategy buys 489 million worth of Bitcoin. Company now holds more than 100,000 Bitcoin. Um, so if you made it to the end of this Bitcoin video, well done. Please like and subscribe. I will continue to make daily content as and when I can. That's it. I've got nothing else to say really. Bye. <laughs> okay.